question number 19 it reads yesterday our teacher kid dash option a a black spitting big cobra option b a big spitting black cobra option c a spitting black big cobra and option d a big black spitting cobra in case you don't know this question is from the topic arrangement or order of adjectives arrangement or order of adjectives how did i know that this question is from arrangement or order of adjectives let me tell you if you look at the options in the question you will find out that they've used different words functioning as adjectives to qualify a noun the noun in this case is cobra they have used different words in the options functioning as adjectives to qualify a particular noun the noun in this case is cobra that is why this question is from the topic arrangement or order of adjectives anytime a question wants you to arrange adjectives whenever you are faced with a question under arrangement or order of adjectives there is a formula i always recommend the formula is mosak p n m p h it is very easy to memorize look at it mosak p n m p h mosak p n m p h mosak p n m p h with this formula you can arrange as many adjectives as possible correctly let us look at what each letter in the formula stands for remember the formula i recommend when it comes to arrangement or order of adjectives is mosak p n m p h let us at this point look at what each letter stands for and examples there letter m stands for modifier examples of modifier are articles such as a and d quantifiers such as many few cardinal numbers such as one two ordinal numbers such as first second last and possessives possessives such as your our etc anytime you see any of them it falls under modifier which is m i believe that is understood o letter o stands for opinion examples of opinion are beautiful intelligent smart ugly etc anytime you see any of these ones it falls under opinion which is letter o the first letter s stands for size examples of size are big small large medium etc anytime you see any of these ones put it under size which is letter s the second letter s stands for shape examples of shape are triangular circular cylindrical rectangular etc if you see any of these ones put it under the second letter s which stands for shape letter a it stands for age examples of age are old new young modern ancient etc if you see any of these ones put it under age which is letter a letter c it stands for color examples of color are red blue etc so if you see any of these ones 
put it under color, which is letter C. The first letter P, this is important, stands for participle. In case you don't know, we have two participles in English and they are present participle. A present participle is a verbal word that ends with ing. But in this case, it will be playing the role of an adjective, functioning as an adjective. It means that any one of them that ends with ing is a present participle and should fall under participle, which is letter P. The other participle we have is past participle. In case you don't know, a past participle is a verb that ends with en, ed, etc. It means that any one of them that ends with en, ed, what have you, is past participle and should fall under participle, which is letter P. I just told you that any one of them that ends with ing, en, ed, etc. should be taken as participle, which is letter P. However, not all of them, I repeat, not all of them that end with ing or en, ing or en should be taken as participle. Not all of them that end with ing or en should be taken as participle. For now, just note that any one of them that ends with ing, en, ed, what have you, should be taken as participle. But there is more to that than meets the eye. It is not always like that. When we get to that bridge, we are going to cross it successfully. I believe that is understood. Letter N. It stands for nationality. It shows the country or where you come from. Examples of nationality are Nigerian. It shows you come from the country, Nigeria. Italian. It shows you come from the country, Italy. American. It shows you come from the country, America, etc. If you see any one of them, put it under nationality, which is letter N. Letter M stands for material. It shows what was used in making or producing what you are describing. Examples of material are plastic. It shows what was used in making or producing what you are describing is plastic. So plastic is an example of material. If what was used in making or producing what you are describing is rubber, then rubber becomes an example of material. Rubber in that situation becomes material. So we can conclude that apart from plastic, another example of material is rubber. It shows that what was used in producing or making what you are describing is rubber. Look at something, a thing. If what was used in making or producing what you are describing is sand or clay that is from the earth, then we can conclude that ethane is an example of material. Ethane there is material. Ethane means that what was used in producing or making what you are describing is from the earth, either sand or clay. So if I say I need an ethane pot, I need an ethane pot. It means I need a pot made from sand or clay. So ethane is an example of material. Please note that ethane ends with en, but I am not taking it as participle. I told you not quite long that any one of them that ends with ing, en, or ed should be taken as participle, which is 
the first letter P. But I said it is not always the case. An exception is ethane. Ethane ends with EN, but I am not taking it as participle. Rather, I am taking it as material. Because ethane, ethane, ethane shows that what was used in making or producing what you are describing is from the earth, that is sand or clay. I believe that is understood. Letter P, which is the second letter P, stands for purpose. Purpose shows the essence of buying, getting, or acquiring what you are describing. The essence of acquiring it, the essence of getting it, the essence of purchasing it, the essence of buying it, that is purpose. For example, if I say I went to the market, I went to the market to buy a sewing machine. The essence of buying the machine is for sewing. So sewing here is purpose. Please note that sewing ends with ing, but I am not taking it as participle because it shows the essence of acquiring that thing I am describing. So it is purpose and not participle. Another example, washing. It shows that the essence of getting that thing is for washing. The essence of acquiring the machine is for washing. So washing is purpose. Washing ends with ing, but I am not taking it as participle. I am taking it as purpose because it shows the essence of acquiring that thing. The same thing is applicable to duplicating. Duplicating shows the essence of acquiring the machine. It is for duplication. I want to use it to duplicate. It is the essence of acquiring it. So duplicating is an example of purpose. It ends with ing, but I am not taking it as participle. Rather, I am taking it as purpose because it shows the essence of acquiring that thing. From what I have said, it means that any one of them that ends with ing or en, first of all, first of all, ask yourself, does it show material? If it shows material, if it denotes material, then take it as material. Does it show purpose? If it shows purpose, if it denotes purpose, then take it as purpose. However, if it does not denote material, it does not denote purpose, and it ends with either ing or en, then automatically it becomes participle. I believe that is understood. Letter H, which is the last letter in the formula, stands for head. The head is what you are describing using all the other adjectives. What you are describing using all the other adjectives is what we call the head and it comes last. Let us apply the formula to this question with a view to answering it correctly. The formula is Mossack, Mossack, P-N-M-P-H, Mossack, P-N-M-P-H. And I said this formula is used to arrange many adjectives correctly. It is used to arrange adjectives correctly. If you look at the options, you will find out that there is modifier, which is letter M, and it is the article A. So we are going to put it under M. If you look at the options, you will find out that there is no opinion, so this one is out. Because any one you cannot find in the options is out. The ones present in the options, fix them correctly, appropriately. There is no opinion in the options, check. So letter O is out. There is, there is size in the options, and that is big. So we are going to put it here, big. I believe you understand what I am doing. I am looking at the options, actually. I am going by the options. There is no shape in the options. No shape. So the second letter S is out. There is no age 
in the options no age look at the options no age so letter a is out there is color in the options there is color and that is black so we put it here black i believe you understand there is participle in the options because there is a word there that ends with ing spitting if you look at that word that ends with ing you will find out that it does not denote purpose it does not denote material it does not denote purpose it does not denote material it does not show purpose it does not it does not show material so i cannot take it as purpose because it does not denote purpose i cannot also take it as material because it does not denote material it ends with ing insofar it does not denote purpose or material automatically it becomes participle so there is participle there and that is spitting spitting there is no nationality there no nationality so n is out there is no material there m is out there is no purpose there look at the options no purpose p is out there is the head what we are trying to describe and it is obviously cobra so we put it here cobra we have got the answer to the question we have answered the question correctly what we have is yesterday our teacher killed a big black spitting cobra a big black spitting cobra and if you look at the options you will find out that the correct option is option d look at it a big black spitting cobra look at our arrangements a big black spitting cobra so the correct option for this question is option d let us look at few more questions one or two more questions so that you will understand better if you look at the first question here you will find out that it reads simboto totoloki is dash a a liberian efficient young teacher option b an efficient liberian young teacher option c a young liberian efficient teacher and option d an efficient young liberian teacher all we need to do is apply the formula mosaic p n m p h let us get started if you look at the options you will find out that there are two modifiers and they are the articles a and an put the two under m whatever follows immediately after we determine whether it is the article a we are going to use or the article an so do not be scared just put both of them whatever follows after we determine which one to use so let's continue if you look at the options you will find out that we have opinion there is opinion and that is efficient efficient i believe you can see what i am doing okay let's go back to modifier i cannot say a efficient i can say an efficient so this article a is out so that we have we have we have only an because i can say an efficient i cannot say a efficient so the article a is out we are left with only an i told you do not be scared the answer will showcase itself if you arrange properly let us continue if you look at the options you will find out that there is no size no size so this one is out there is no shape in the options so this one is out there is age in the options and that is young young so we put it here there is no color there look at the options no color so this one is out there is no participle in the options so this one is out there is nationality in the options and that is liberian 
So we put it here. Liberia. Okay. There is no material in the options. I believe you can see what I am talking about. No, li no material in the options. No material. Check. No material. So this one is out. There is no purpose in the options. No purpose. So this one is out. There is the head. The person we are trying to describe. And that is teacher. Teacher. So we put it here. We have got the answer. So that what we have is Simboto Totoloki is an efficient young Liberian teacher. An efficient young Liberian teacher. So come, look at the options. An efficient young Liberian teacher. Come, an efficient young Liberian teacher. So the correct option is option D. I believe that is understood. Very quickly, if you look at this other question, it reads, my mother bought Dash. Option A, a brown, small, beautiful earthen pot. Option B, an earthen, small, beautiful brown pot. Option C, a small, beautiful earthen brown pot. And option D, a beautiful, small, brown earthen pot. You don't need to be scared of the question. Just apply the formula. I told you this formula, MOSAC, P and M, P, H, we enable you arrange adjectives correctly. So let's apply the formula. If you look at the options, you will find out that we have two modifiers, A and AN. Put them here. A and AN. Whatever follows after, we determine whether we are going to use A or we are going to use AN. So do not be scared. If you look at the options, you will find out that there is opinion. And the opinion is beautiful. Beautiful. We cannot say an beautiful. So this one is out. We can only say a beautiful. So we are going to use the article A as our modifier. Okay? Is there size? There is size. And that is what I call small. I believe you can see what I am doing. Is there shape? No shape. So this one is out. Is there age? Age. Age. No age. No age there. So this one is out. Is there color? Color. Color. There is color. And that is brown. Brown. Is there participle? No participle. No participle. So this one is out. Is there nationality? Nationality. No nationality. From what I can see in the options, no nationality. So this one is out. Is there material? Yes, there is material. And that is earthing. Earthing. Earthing, I told you not quite long, shows that what was used in making or producing what we are describing here is from the earth. That is either sand or clay. So earthing is material. Is there purpose? Purpose. No purpose. So this one is out. There is the head. The head is what we are trying to describe. And that is pot. Pot. We have got the answer. So that what we have is my mother bought a beautiful, small, brown, earthen pot. A beautiful, small, brown, earthen pot. And that is option D. Look at it. A beautiful, small, brown, earthen pot. A beautiful, small, brown, earthen pot. So the correct option is D. I believe this is understood. Let us look at the next question number. 